like the program has exposed students to some fine arts that they may not otherwise have um, even known about before now. Through a performance by the main attraction that I haven't left just smiling from ear to ear. They're always great and if you haven't seen one, you need to go. I've noticed over the last five years that there have been um, a diverse group of students that have come together and they always seem to become friends and I think a lot of them otherwise would not have been friends or followed in the same group. Again, I just love going to the shows and I usually bring a bunch of family members and friends with me. The way that it has grown every year shows that kids are interested in being part of a special program. Well, I actually, my son is in it. Um, I love the confidence that they build as they're um, in this program. Um, I think it's really neat that each year kids that might start out behind the scenes like working the lights or running the stage, um, eventually in the next couple years they end up being part of the, the lead roles. It's pretty neat to see that transition. They really learn how to work together. Um, I don't, a lot of it is done by students, it's all student led, the, the stage is built by students, the costumes and the choreography is all done by students here at our school. I love the confidence that I've watched my son gain um, as he's went through it, from being shy to actually coming out of his shell. It's had a positive impact on our community. Not a lot of schools, small schools especially, would be able to say that they actually have a dinner and a show put on by their show choir. I would just encourage any students that are interested in being part of a special program to be sure and try out. Just truly it is an amazing program that our school and especially our students are blessed to have Dr. Ford and Ms. Ford here leading them um, and also their current show The Adams Family um, is going to be amazing. It's a must see performance. I think the program has been a wonderful addition to our school. And as it relates to elective offerings and allowing students to pursue um, academics uh, that maybe they haven't thought about in terms of the performing arts. Um, uh, I think that, that it's really opened our student body's eyes to uh, areas where students are allowed to excel that we maybe historically haven't thought about. I think the main attraction has been, uh, as I said, a wonderful addition to our school uh, because it's allowing students to express themselves in, in ways they wouldn't otherwise. I, I really like just the simplistic aspect of them being able to stand and deliver. So many of our students uh, at times are not given a venue where they can actually get up in front of a group and, um, and perform, uh, whether that be uh, you know, as it relates to a ball game where they're actually out there performing athletically, well in this case it's, it's, it's being able to speak in front of a group, uh, uh, perform, sing, and I think that that has really opened the door to opportunities for some students that historically was not there, and so uh, Dr. Ford and uh, Mrs. Ford have done a fabulous job providing that opportunity through the, the program. I think the members are, to me, they're more outgoing. Uh, it's allowed them to open up and, and uh, excel in an area that was, in many respects, an undiscovered area for them. So to, to get up in front of one another, let alone a group, and, and sing and express yourself is very difficult. And I think uh, Dr. Ford and Mrs. Ford have provided a tremendous opportunity for them to do that. And I think we have seen growth in those individuals and how they express themselves not only in the program, but outside of the program as, as they're interacting with the student body. I think it's certainly given me even a stronger appreciation for the arts. Uh, I've always had an appreciation for uh, performing arts, singing and plays and what have you, but I think I have a stronger appreciation as we see what our students are capable of doing. And I think once again, as students are allowed to really open up and provide a greater expression of themselves than what they perhaps uh, afforded us prior to an individual within the program. I think our community sees um, success here at house schools through the many venues uh, that we afford them when it comes to uh, seeing our students um, and their abilities and this is just one additional area where they're able to see our students 
in, in a different light. Uh, when, when we have the, uh, the performances uh, in, in the dinner style theater, I think that's somewhat unexpected within our community. And so when our, when our community is able to see that and, and see the outcomes based on actually attending and or uh, the images or the conversations that follow, uh, I think they're pleasantly surprised of some of the things that are going on here at house schools and I think that is a direct result of this program of uh, allowing those reflections. I just, I appreciate so much the professionalism of Dr. Ford and Mrs. Ford and their uh, efforts to support the program. Uh, I know that it, it goes well beyond the school day as it relates to the things they're doing to work with students and prepare. I also appreciate the ambassadorship of our students and how they represent themselves. You know, uh, the main attraction in some of their efforts has, has taken them beyond our school campus into other communities, into other schools as they have interacted to gain the benefit of props and, and supplies and, and I think they have always uh, represented our school in, in, in the best of ways uh, as they've gone and done this. So I think that is just a, one more tremendous um, aspect of of promoting house schools and the opportunities that are here and they've done that through their representation of the program. I think the impact uh, that Main Attraction has had on how public schools is that whenever we perform there are several people who are like oh that's really cool or hey you know I think I would be interested in something like that and with Main Attraction we all get really close and we come together as a, a choir family and um, we become more open, you know, and it's kind of, um, it's a really cool thing to see how close we can all get, like, whenever at the beginning of the year we don't know each other, and then at the end of the year we're all close and like buddy-buddy, it's, you know, we all get closer together. So I think that's a pretty good impact on the students, I guess I would say, at Howell Public Schools. What I would like to share about the main attraction, uh, from my point of view, is that I've become like more open and straightforward with things. I'm not scared to get out in front of somebody and perform anymore. You know, it was kind of like a, a stage fright type of thing where I've gotten out of my comfort zone and now if there's something that I don't know how to do but I'm willing to do in front of somebody, I won't be as terrified. This program has affected me personally. Like, I feel like a family member to the forts you know we've you know I've really enjoyed spending choir with our the students that we have and the teachers you know Dr. and Mrs. Ford are are amazing teachers and they've done so much work for you know us to perform in front of us like if it wasn't for them being on our tails like I don't think it would be as crisp as Dr. Ford would say um, as it would be. So I mean, I think that personally I've become closer with them and it's really comforting. This program has impacted our community in a, in I would say a very, very positive way. You know, parents get to see their kids perform in front of hundreds of people that they don't even know and they're just okay with it. And I think the parents are extremely proud you know, of their kids getting out of their comfort zone and doing something like this because I mean, the parents probably wouldn't even be able to do something like this. So I think that's a pretty good way it's impacted us. I would like to share some like personal thoughts about main attraction. It's it is it's a lot of fun, and it is something that I regret like not joining my freshman year. You know, I, there was people who were like, "Yeah, you should join choir," you know, and whatnot, and I was like, "Man, that's something." You know, I don't think that would be for me. And Nick Stark last year and Marlena were like on my tail at the end of the year to join choir. And so I finally did. And when I did, it was like, wow, I've missed out on a lot of fun in my high school, throughout my high school years. So I think that's, I guess that's about it. It's made a large impact on how public schools. I have noticed that a lot of the students that are in it seem more at ease, they're gaining confidence, self-confidence, they're learning. And most of all, it's just one more activity that 
students that may not be in basketball, softball, baseball, whatever, can participate in, that the arts and music is more on their interest level. I have seen it grow over the five years that it's been here. When I first heard about it, I was so excited, and I thought the main attraction was the this cutest little name we could have for it because of our lion's uh, mascot. Uh, as a school board member, I would really like to see it go even way down into the elementary uh, grades, pre-K through eight. I know to, do not get the music and arts that uh, others may get, and I think it would be something that they would enjoy. And as a school board member, we just like to add curriculum so that more of our students can participate in their interests. I have seen them have more confidence in themselves. They're excited about what they do. They're part of a group, which is so important. And I also think it helps learning overall um, with math, with reading, with listening. When you're in music, you really have to listen closely. Uh, you don't want to get on a wrong note. When you're in drama, you have to listen closely as to when your lines are to be spoken. So it's made a great impact on our students, and I think if you would ask each one of them, they would probably say the same thing. Well, I taught at Howe for 30 years, and when I first came in 1982, one of the things that I was given a, a job to do was music. I was the music teacher for a while around here. I've played at graduation since 1981, uh, baccalaureate, arts, anything that came along, I was it, and I enjoyed doing that. But we never, never really had the kind of music program that we have now. It was kind of hit and miss. We never had the funds for the music or the recordings or uh, plays or anything like that. Uh, the teachers were wonderful about coming up with things for their classes. But um, personally for me, it is a it is a dream come true. It's something that I've wanted to see since I started teaching. And Dr. Ford and Mrs. Ford has just taken it and ran with it. And it's gotten better and better and bigger and bigger. And the community talks about it. Our parents talk about it. I couldn't be more pleased as a former teacher at have. I think I'm more excited year after year about their programs that they put on. I know I've got tickets for Saturday night, uh, the Adams Family, I can't wait. Uh, I, last year was absolutely spectacular. I don't think we could have gone to New York City and seen a better production. But one thing I wanted to mention is that Dr. and Mrs. Ford, we are so blessed to have them. We, we don't even realize, uh, most of us do not, I do realize it, how talented they are and how much they bring to the classroom. And it's not about um, singing beautifully or speaking beautifully. It's about so many other things. It's about building that confidence in a child and showing that there's other things that they can do. Uh, I'm just so pleased that they have started this program. And I visited Mrs. Ford's class one day, and I don't even know why I was in there. But she spoke to them about Whatever you do, do it to the best of your ability. If it's even picking up trash at the cemetery, do it to the best of your ability. If you're singing in front of a group, do the best that you can. And I thought that was the most wonderful thing, an important thing I think I've heard in a classroom to tell your students. Because we get lazy, and I as a teacher would get lazy, and sometimes we didn't always do our best, even as teachers. But she instilled that in those, in those students. And I saw that every time I hear them sing, every time I go to one of their programs, they're doing it to the best of their ability. And again, I want to thank them. We're so lucky to have them at Howe.